Hello baseball fans. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. We're getting closer each day to giving away our first subscriber prize. Continuing down the bandwagon today of free agents, I thought we'd make the easiest prediction for this offseason, and that's Yadier Molina. Now, if you don't know who Molina is or just need a refresher, here's a scoop. He's with the St. Louis Cardinals. He's been with their organization for 20 years. He's 38 years old, was their catcher. He's a nine-time All-Star, nine-time Gold Glove winner. So he's a Hall of Famer or a future Hall of Famer for sure. Now, I know his offensive has kind of declined over the last few years, but he's still very much a defensive player behind the plate. So somebody that the starters can count on to still get runners out, to still provide that pitch framing, all those things you want additionally in a good catcher. Now his numbers aren't too bad either for somebody who's 38. In 2020, he had an average of 262 with four home runs and a 0 0.1 war. 2019, again, 270 average, 10 home runs and a 1.3 war, I believe. And in 2018, his last All-Star season, he had an average of 261, 20 dingers, and a 1.6 war. So even though he's going to be 38 this next offseason, he's still a catcher that has a lot of upside. Now, I know in the last few vlogs, we've talked that there are a few teams that have been rumbling an interest in Yadier, uh, specifically the Mets, uh, the Yankees, and Miami. But at the end of the day, he's probably going to go home to St. Louis, and I'm going to bet on that. In fact, I think the offers are all going to be very comparable in price. So for somebody like Molina, who's 38, he's going to want to stay with a team that he's comfortable with, a team that he's played with his entire life, and a team where he has that fan base. He's a superstar, he's a god in St. Louis, and he wants to remain there. And it would be really nice if they could put a contract together maybe for the next one or two years that will allow him to retire and spend his entire career in a Cardinals uniform. I think it's something he wants, and I think it's something that the fans want. So how much money is it going to take to get that done? Well, I think he's actually going to get a two-year deal. Now, I know most have speculated that it's going to be a one-year, but I think that second-year deal is going to be a club option. So I think it's going to total somewhere between 16 to $18 million, maybe a two-year deal at $8 million a piece with a $1 million buyout if they don't pursue that second-year option. So total compensation around $9 million. So that's my prediction for today. A real easy one, a reunion, or I guess he's going to stay put. But anyway, you look at it, Yadier Molina is going to be with St. Louis for next year, and he's going to retire a Cardinal. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Stay safe, hit that subscribe button, and we'll talk soon. Take care.